In Dagenham, one of the stars of this series is ready for another leading role. You like that sound, don't you? Cue Pete the Pest Controller. He's on an emergency call, but Pete knows the trouble has been brewing here for quite a while. You'll find when you do the cockroaches and, when, and they're in big festations, they want to run all over you. I don't particularly want to take them home. And it's easier to see them on a white suit than it is on my black trousers. If Pete is preparing so carefully, this must be a tough job. Right, that's all charged up. All right, pest control. Yeah. It's really bad. She's got it in the passage, in the be her bedroom, in the kitchen. Rose looks after her great aunt, who lives in the flat, in very disturbing conditions. She gets them in her cupboards here. Yeah. Yep. See? That's why we don't borrow a lot of food, we do it yeah. bit by bit. How long has this been going on for, do you know? Oh, it's got to be going on for a few years. Really? When we make her up sandwiches, as soon as you put the stuff on the table and you start doing the sandwiches, they must smell it and they come, start coming. Because one yeah. time, the other week, my boyfriend had to hold a plate and I had to do the sandwich on the plate while I was holding it because all this was full of it. Really? Pete knows the enemy. It's not just a problem, it's an infestation. Seem to be a lot on the door frames all the time at the top, sitting up there. Mark lives on her own. A lot of people don't like coming in to visit her because they're scared of taking it on and she gets upset because she don't see no one. Yeah, there they are. Look at this little lot. They mostly crawl on her clothes and she don't even, you're sitting there watching and she don't even know they're crawling on there. So it is very horrible and hygienic for her. On the walls at the back here, coming out the holes. Every crevice, like on the side here, they're just there. You, you cannot foul by not seeing them. It's like every, everywhere you look, they're going to be nymphs or adults running around. As you'd expect, Pete the Pest Controller is fully up to the task. We've got a lot of work to do here, hopefully. We can pull it all off and get it all sorted for the lady. Back in Dagenham, with the elderly tenants safely out of the way, Pest Controller Pete completes his assessment. One big one would be bad enough, but they're everywhere. It's a big job. There's no two ways about it. They're crawling all over us as we're standing here. Look, even on the plates, look. It's just unbelievable, ain't it? They just walk out and walk in. There's so many. I mean, I've got my bag out there. They're all on my bag at the moment. They're up the walls out here. They're just everywhere. With their days numbered, they're getting friskier. Species we've got here is the German cockroach, which are quite common, really. Pete decides to have no mercy. I know it's a bit time consuming, but at the end of the day, you know, you've got them, ain't you? He's taking no prisoners, and there's no great escape. Now Pete gets personal. We'll pull the fridge out in the freezer and whatever runs, I can spray and get them straight away. This is all the feces, this is all the feces samples from them. Unbelievable, ain't it? But the game's not over. Right. Time to bring out the big guns. Let's do some devastation. Pete will fight them in the kitchen. He'll fight them behind the freezer. He will never surrender. Well done, Pete. But the blighters may still be resisting in hiding. I'm uh, just doing the backup now with the gel, which I know works pretty well. Pete lays a couple of traps. He'll be back in two weeks to declare victory. Thank you. OK, no problem. Thank you. OK, bye. Right, bye. Not quite a perfect day, but good enough. I'll tell you what, that's one of the worst jobs I've ever come across for a long time. I don't want to see any more of them, that's for sure. <laughs>